Hello friends, I am so happy you guys are here today. We're going to be talking about something that I find super helpful, especially this time of year when the weather starts getting a little bit colder and I start spending a little bit more time indoors. Also, in the spirit of the fall season, we're going to be coloring this awesome sunflower stamp with some pencils and water-based Tombow markers, which you can see here. Uh, I'll zoom in. You can see all the numbers if you're interested in getting the same ones that I am going to be using. I also am going to prov be providing a printable that you can use. I have mine magically transformed onto my Tone Tanned notebook but you're more than welcome to print out the um, paper page size letter size that I have provided and you can use that to keep in or to make a, a journal of your own and you can see it's bigger and this journal I made I will show you I'll post a link if you want to make your own journals they are super easy super 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 easy they're basically a page folded in half and you can just keep all of these um, printables that I make and make your own journal the only downside is unless your printer can take watercolor paper or different types of paper you're kind of left with whatever paper your printer can feed through and it may not be able to take all kinds of inks and things like that so anyway let's talk about what we're gonna talk about today is we're gonna talk about purpose what it is and why we need one in that print in this printable that I'm providing I'm going to give you two really easy ways to be able to kind of narrow down um, a way to find purpose just uh, you can use it in meaning a per your life's purpose or just uh, your purpose for the day which is kind of what I'm just going for here so I think a great way, and this is what I think helps me, is to make a list of values. A list of values that you can have, you can um, go back to if you need to and look at. This stamp is by Stampendous. I think it's really cool, by the way. It's a really nice stamp. Or you can just get a digital download. Or there's many, 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 many sunflower stamps that you can use. Um, but I just kind of thought for me, it just kind of went along with the theme of fall and purpose. And I guess it's because, like I said, I do find myself spending a lot more time inside. And when the days start kind of blending into each other and you can't kind of step outside to kind of get some fresh air because a little too cold. I don't know. I like fall. So that also brings me to the question you might be thinking well so what is a purpose what is purpose what is all this mumbo jumbo about this cycle babble about purpose purpose is basically i mean it could be it could be complicated but to simplify it it's just basically a purpose consists of a, a central motivating factor in your life or like this ongo this abiding intention to achieve a long-term goal that is personally meaningful. So I'm going to go along and I'm going to fill out this, which is just going to be, like I said, a list of well, there's two lists. One list is going to be a, a list of, of values. And if, you know, at first, when I was first making a list of values, I kind of found it hard because I'm like, well, values, doesn't everybody have the same values? You know, everybody wants happiness. Everybody wants this. Everybody wants that. Everybody wants the same thing. So I also made another list if you're having trouble coming up with values. Uh, my first one that I listed, it just the first one that came to mind was um, curiosity, being curious. That is a value that I have. I just I just like 
being I'm, I'm just a very curious person and it's um it's something that it's just a part of me that that i that i like i also think that i am thoughtful in the terms of being thoughtful towards uh, other people and thoughtful in terms of being um uh what's the word mind mindful like thoughtful mindful i know there's two different things but somehow in my mind they kind of go together i don't know but you know this is your own creative journal you can just write down whatever you want i'm kind of writing them down as i am thoughtful sometimes when you see lists of values they might say you know curiosity i just wrote down curious because you know i like to think of things like i am blank so and i love creative journals because like i said there are no rules you can write down whatever you want whatever you want so my third one and by all means go past three go past many people have a list of like say 25 of their top values and if you are having trouble um this is the second list that i that i think might be a little might be a little easier to kind of maybe get you started i probably should have made this one first it's basically um things that make you happy things that make you happy um that make you feel good i i like to i like to feel a sense of and i think a lot of people have this a sense of belonging a sense of belonging to something or some kind of group or you know what i'm trying to say um just belonging and oh also stability i also thought i lo i like stability i don't like i don't mind change but i have to kind of get used to it but i like stability like everything's cool there's don't spring anything on me right do you, I, do you guys feel that way i don't know some people are like totally spontaneous where they're like okay you know let's just go out and drive to another state and just have lunch i mean no 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 okay let's get this written down on paper let's get this in a calendar let's get this in a planner let's have a time a place whose car we're driving how long it takes to get there who exactly is going what exactly it's you know what i mean I mean, it might be a little much, but, you know, so I do like stability. I like um, curiosity, and I, I know I listed that already, but, like, a passion for, like, not passion, passion, like, passion, like, soap opera passion, like, passion, like, passion for, for, learn, uh, for learning new things and discovering new things and that kind of passion. I guess it would be more of like a maybe that's too that that's too vague. I should have maybe wrote a passion for thing. Yeah, I guess a passion in general. I guess yeah, just a passion in general. I mean, some people don't have passion at all. I guess. Um. But anyway, so if you are having trouble with these, I think a good tool that I use is. Is to think of this is especially good for values. Think of when you when it was um, I'm Christian, so I'll use Christmas as an example. When you think of how you felt when you were younger and you just couldn't wait for Christmas morning and you couldn't wait to to go to bed to wake up in the morning because the next day is Christmas and and that kind of feeling like what are some things that make you feel like you just cannot wait to go to bed and wake up in the morning so list those things are also key to kind of narrowing down more of the more of you know your your values i mean someone might say well i love you know 
doing this and it's not necessarily a value but you know once again this is our creative journal and there are no rules so just write it down anyway yeah i guess all you uh, a lot of the things that made you happy when you were younger when you were a child and surprisingly i think you'll find that they are true today as well so while we're doing this i am <clears throat> i am making my coloring in my my sunflower stamp and it kind of helps me to relax and focus and kind of think about some of the things that I like and helps me think about some of the values that I might have. And if you're wondering, I'm using Tombow markers, which I actually forgot how much I love because I've been coming so obsessed with the alcohol copic markers but these markers are really cool like you can add like these i like to add when i'm when i'm when i'm coloring my my little sunflower i like to start with the darks because i think you add like some of like the shadows in and always here's a little tip for you when you're when you're coloring it helps to even though this is just kind of for fun you know journal kind of coloring it still helps to think of a, like a light source. Like if your light's coming from this way, then this part of the, the leaf is gonna be highlighted. So this part's gonna be like a happy, 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 happy color. Should I just talk as fast as it's going? Should I just, as fast as I made the speed go, I just have fast I'll talk, I'll just talk, 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 talk. No, but I had to speed this up because if I didn't, um, it would just take way too long and you guys would be totally like, next, 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 next. Yeah, I'm just coloring the shadows, shadows first, and then I go to the highlights. And then I make the happy little highlights after I color the dark, deep, dark shadows. And I really think it's coming along pretty, pretty well. I mean, it's pretty simple. It's just basically using some yellows and coloring in the sunflower. It's fun, right? So anyway, let me get back to the, let me get back to why I think this list that we made is is super important to have because determining what your purpose is and i'm not talking about your life's you know your life's journey your life's purpose what the meaning of life is i mean that's like basically that's the, that's like a whole nother i mean that's that's like an oprah like um oprah Bowman. I mean, there have been books and books written about bit written about that. I'm just, I'm kind of just kind of like a lighthearted daily, like what, like the feeling of having a purpose for the day. Um, that's what I'm get that I'm trying to get at here, and I think that's a huge key to having a a happy, productive meaningful fulfilling day life and i think even when you're when you're going through a when you're going through a um whatever chronic challenge you're going through it can really help to well for example if you're going through something say um that makes you just like exhausted having this purpose for the day it kind of helps you feel energized and i'm not quite sure if it's because it takes your mind off of it or if it it's like this mind you know body connection where when i'm really excited about the about my what i'm doing my the purpose that i've chosen for the next day which i you know write down in my in my planner it just gives me a sense of of a little bit a little kind of boost of energy even when i might not always be feeling very energetic and i might kind of be feeling a little sloth like you know 
Can you guys relate with that when you just kind of am like, wow, the energy is just not there. And the five Red Bulls that I just drank, it just lasted about five minutes and then it's gone. But aside from that, just in general, having a purpose is just, I mean, it's it's been shown to just have a, a, a positive impact on your overall Overall health, your brain health, mental health, physical health, overall body health, it, it's just a good thing. It helps us to make um, good choices, choices, good choices in our work life, our professional life. And I think for me, well, what I like to do is I like to take baby steps with things. So what I like to do is I like to, I use, I love my planner, by the way. I don't know if you guys are a planner people, but I use my planner for everything. I write down, I, sometimes I plan out when I'm going to breathe because it just makes me feel, I guess, more, I don't know, in control, but I like to write down in my planner what my purpose is going to be for that specific day. You know what I'm saying? So today's purpose might be different from tomorrow's purpose. It might be different from, you know, do you get what I'm, do you get what I'm, what I'm saying here? And I think that for me, at least when, when I spend my time, um, working that day or living that day with and towards that purpose, it just makes me feel, feel happier. So I, I think that this this list of values that we're we're creating here, like I said, is a really great tool to keep to keep adding to. You see how there's so much space left on my paper. Um, you also see my, my my sunflower, my little sunflower, and yeah, you can just keep adding as much as you want. So I basically I'll look back on on this entry. And I'll figure out what my purpose is going to be for the day um, for for tomorrow and then for the next day and for the next day. And then I'll have something to to focus on because I don't know, at least I think during this time that we're going through right now when um, you a lot of people are at home working at home and sort of seems like Groundhog Day and every day can just appear to be the same thing, you know, day after day after day. I think it, it just helps break up that that um, monotony. For example, um, if today's purpose you choose, let's see, um, one of your values is generosity, okay? Let's just take that as an example. So, for a purpose for today is going to be giving. So throughout the day, you're going to be focused on giving, whether it's giving of yourself, giving, you know, helping a friend, giving advice, giving financially, giving, giving something. And then tomorrow, tomorrow's purpose could focus on something. What if you're one of your values is a, being adventurous, one of one of um, your focus could be adventure. So, I mean, it could be something small. It can be something big. It could be traveling. It could be anything. So you see how it kind of breaks up the days and it adds kind of it adds something. It adds it adds it adds value. And I hope you found value in today's video. So please make sure you subscribe, it's super important. I will love you forever and I would love to hear what you have to say, what your comments are, how you're feeling, what your values are, and make sure to give it a thumbs up and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.